Welcome to Romantic Tarot. This is your weekly forecast for love. What and who is coming toward you romantically, spiritually, sexually? This is about that very special, intimate, romantic kind of love for each of the zodiac signs. A perfect video forecast for people who want to cross watch, especially because all of the signs are here time stamped for you in the description box below, as well as in the comment section. So that even if you're on mobile, you can, you can access the timestamps also in the description box, be sure to find the link for the extended video. It's below. That is who is coming towards you. So let's start off at the top of each sign uh, i always start with scorpio because i'm so thankful for your loyalty to the channel let's start off at one minute and three seconds scorpio i've pre-shuffled the cards i've meditated on them and i'm sitting in a circle of light ready to do your reading what and who is coming towards you what are the messages for love and romance for scorpio for next weekend until the weekend after focus on love look for the good in everyone this is the beauty and the beast card so this is uh the story of you Falling in love for, with somebody who A, may not be your physical type in terms of the attributes, you may be surprised or taken back that you even have this intense connection with this person because they're not normally who you are attracted to, but you definitely see beauty within this beast. There's essentially a, some sort of disgruntled, burly, um, grumbly sort of nature to their love. In other words, this person is defensive or protective and it's hard to know if they really love you except for the fact that you can feel it so deeply. This is the story of opposites that are attracting and a love that defies explanation, a story of having that connection and really being able to bring out the best in somebody and that being the effect they have on you or you have on them. This could be a story of forgiveness. This could be a story of um, being able to see the best in somebody even when they can't see it in themselves or be the best for somebody so that it bring you bring out, you make them a better human being. But this is definitely that sense of being able to see a beauty that is hidden or they try to keep hidden. A beauty that they don't know that they have. This definitely is a sort of they don't know how beautiful they are kind of love. But because you focus on love, you bring out the best in them. The end of a tough cycle approaches full moon in Capricorn. So what this is, this is clarifying for me is that maybe this isn't a person, but this is the kind of struggle and difficulty that love has been for you, Scorpio. This kind of love, this kind of feeling that love has been forbidden to you, like love doesn't want you or love doesn't love you back. Um, and it's the end of this cycle. And I've been getting this for you, I think since the end of November, this feeling of the world in terms of love and romance opening up for you and you being able to find the climate of the atmosphere is um, preparing for this love for you to happen. You have been single for a long time or been in a series of relationships that don't fulfill you or that make you sad or hurt or always end. This cycle is coming to an end, which means you are about to find that beautiful, perfect person for you. You are about to find that person that will go through everything for you and with you. You are about to find that romantic partner if you are interested in who they are knowing a little bit more about them that extended link scorpio is down below i'll see you in the extended okay sagittarius your turn 4:44. sagittarius what is the climate <sighs> climate of love for you this coming weekend out through the what the following weekend 
practice compassion, see things from a fresh perspective. This is you listening and hearing and understanding or somebody opening up their heart to you. This is about making amends with somebody, about reaching out to somebody, understanding their perspective instead of being pop-offish or spiteful or hurtful. This is also about somebody hiding, somebody hiding their feelings for you, waiting for the time, waiting for the right moment to be able to share with you how they really feel about you. This is a tender person, a gentle person. This is tender emotions um, that really need to be explored and acknowledged. Perhaps you've been putting your emotions away. Perhaps you have been hiding what you feel. Perhaps there are things that you need to talk to your partner about. Um, but you haven't felt like you could open up to them. This is about the need for love and understanding and gentleness and tenderness. Surrender to the divine. What a wonderful fellow card, partner card for this energy, which is to just let things be, to just um, trust. You have to trust. This is about trusting in another person in about believing in the best of them and opening yourself up. This is about hiding your vulnerabilities because you don't think that you'd find somebody to understand, but finally being surrounded by the energy that says, open up. It's safe. It's safe for you to be able to let go of those feelings that you've been holding on to, thinking that nobody else is going to want to listen to you, that your partner won't understand. This is about being able to forgive and let go of feelings of hurt or pain that somebody may have caused you. This is about being able to let go of somebody who caused you hurt and pain. To be able to let go of not only them or the idea or the, uh, not only them uh, or the idea of them, but the hurt and pain that they caused you, you're able to now let go of too. And I think part of what you're able, to, how you're able to let go is that you're able to finally speak to them again. You're finally able to open up your heart and talk about your feelings or allow themselves, allow them to talk to you. Um, this is a, a healing energy. It could be for you and your partner. It could not have anything to do with something that you, that with your relationship, but something on the outside of the relationship that you've been going through and you just, or they just need a lot of tender, loving care this coming weekend and the weekend up to the weekend that will follow. This is about this very loving, healing energy, being protective and being somebody's safe place or finally feeling that you are your own safe place, capable of being able to share your emotions with faith that the person will listen or meeting somebody that is a compassionate person that you will recognize that they're going to be special in your life because you feel comfortable and safe around them in a way that you don't around others. If you are interested in who this beautiful person is that I'm talking about, the extended link is down below. All right, Capricorn. We started 835. Capricorn, choose love. Always, you always have choice. Make yours with love. You are in a dream phase. You are in a dream stage, but maybe it's those dreams that you need. Maybe you've been struggling. I want to let go of these dreams. All they do is hurt me. All they do is harm me. The ideals are not something that could ever be real. That's not true. Release this thought that you don't have any faith and that love doesn't have a place in your life. Release this thought, release it and, and dare to dream again. You're at a point where maybe you've gone cold or you've gone... Um, you've gone defensive, but you don't need that place anymore. Allow yourself to feel more comfortable with love by love it, letting love in, in terms of the dreams, in terms of the ideals, in terms of being able to feel comfortable with the concept of love again. This is memories, memories that have caused pain and caused hurt, memories of somebody who you hold dear. Those memories, if they are still hurting you and causing you pain, Capricorn, those memories are a source of pain because of attachment. If you allow yourself to let go, not of the 
memories, but of the pain attached, of the expectation you once held uh, for somebody. If you allow yourself to let go of those expectations and allow yourself to simply just love the person, even if they couldn't find a way to love you, even if they didn't have the same feelings for you, find yourself able to love them unconditionally and you will realize that that is the way to actually relinquish the pain that has its grip on you and that has you thinking that all love will always turn bad and hurt you and disappoint you capricorn this is definitely the energy of allow yourself to remember those good times and feel that happiness and feel that joy and find a way to allow it to renew your faith in love and realize that love does exist that it can be there for you that you can feel it which means that it is real and in that way you welcome it in communication is key new moon in gemini perhaps this is a sense that you will be talking to somebody that you've been dreaming of um, this is a sense of you will be hearing from somebody that you have not been able to get off your mind or you and i just saw 11 11 that's really interesting that's the that's the number of awakening of awakening your senses to love again of awakening your sense of compassion and forgiveness of something a love awakening for you because you see that it's at rest and it's sleeping somebody has maybe been dreaming of you or you have been dreaming of them and their slumber is about to end they're about to wake up from their dreams and love is about to become less of a dream and more of a reality because you allowed it to settle in your heart again wow if you're interested in who is coming towards you capricorn that link for the extended video is down below. Aquarius 12. Aquarius, take a chance on love. When we love, our lives are changed forever. Oh, Aquarius, have you been cold? Have you been avoiding love? Have you been searching for love but not finding it anywhere? Aquarius, have you been enjoying your alone time? Because that's a good place to be too. This is now you're at a point and you're about to meet somebody who you must take a chance on because it's fate and it's destiny. And this is somebody that will go the distance with you. You are on the same path as this person. This is the card that I pull when I see it. I've been seeing it for many, 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 many signs that you are going to meet the person that you will share the rest of your life with on your path. In other words, when you are on your path to achieve your dreams, you will meet this person along the way because they are on the same trajectory coming from a different place. Your two paths are about to connect. Your two paths are about to collide or they've already collided, Aquarius. You are already on this shared path. This is somebody that you already know. This is somebody that's been walking beside you for a while. And now you're allowed to see, you're allowing yourself to see that this is somebody that that you would want more from or they're seeing that for you this is a feeling in a sense that you that things have been growing growing between you and becoming more romantic it could have been over a period of time Aquarius because it took time the friendship was there and it stayed as friendship for a while why because it needed to because you need to move very slow and something about them does too um, this is a sense of you this coming weekend, um, up to the weekend after, of you finally taking that leap of faith and exploring romantic possibilities with somebody decide to take this chance because this is a wonderful person to take a chance with. You're very close to achieving your goal. Give us moon. This is telling me that yes, in fact, look at how beautiful that energy is, that beautiful card coming through for you. Aquarius, you're not you not only you, are, are you close to achieving your goal, you will be achieving your goal over the past two in the next two weeks. This is a sense of if your goal has been to find love and romance, and yes, 
from the look of this cards, it absolutely has. Aquarius, this is your time to find that love. This is your person. And this is when you are finally going to acknowledge it and see it and see them before you either meet them for the first time or be able to acknowledge for the first time. But the, the, two, the two of you being able to acknowledge for the first time that you are the one the other was looking for. This is that moment. The, the time is now in, appropriately, I think, in your season. If you're interested in who this beautiful person is, that link to the extended is in the description box below. Okay, Pisces. Pisces. Consider your foundation. Look at how committed you are to love. There's, this is my crack in the foundation card, but really it's looking, do you see that Aquarius energy in the uh, wise old owl up here? This is a sense, and this new moon, this is a sense of something happening maybe over this Aquarian new moon that you have, that has helped you to understand yourself, understand a circumstance or a situation in your current relationship or with your abilities to have relationships with people. You have Discover what it is that is compromising your ability to have a long-term loving relationship or that is compromising your long-term loving relationship, a sense of unfamiliarity, a sense of distance in your own home, a sense of why aren't we connected the way that we should be or why aren't I connecting to others the way I want to be. This is a deep dive and a revelation in terms of what it is that is impeding you, what it is that is that crack in your foundation so that you can move forward. Also asking yourself the honest question, I know I say I want love, but do I really, do I really feel comfortable with the idea of sharing my life with somebody else for the rest of my life? Because I think deep down inside Pisces, that's something that actually makes you feel very, very uncomfortable. Something that maybe makes you feel a little bit, um, um, maybe just like you can't pull it off. And this will be the weekend where those revelations of why and how you can fix it or what you have to fix, um, what you have to look at, maybe even asking yourself, is this the right relationship for me? Those thoughts that they've been coming up recently, they're not a bad sign. They're not a sign that anything horrible, well, they're a sign that they're not a sign that anything horrible is happening, but they are a sign that you have to get to the bottom of something and honor your feelings and respect your feelings and really see what's going on and allow yourself to be honest with each other. This could also be, um, you know, um, that there has been some sort of um, um, lack of health or poor health because the house in dreams represents the body. So it could very well be that there has been some poor health when it's come to your partner or when it's come to you. Uh, that may be impeding your ability to really focus on love. But either way, this is about healing something that has harmed you or your relationship. Uh, nothing is yet set in stone. What a good energy for you to have, Pisces, because this is about emotions and, the, and you are the master of emotions. In other words, you can feel it all, but can you share it and can you describe it? That's a, a good question. So this is not the end of you. This is not the end of the road for you. This is not the end of the road for your relationship and nothing is over with. Nothing is coming to a finish. In fact, it is going to be your choice and what you choose to manifest in love that is going to choose which direction you go. Remember, endings are not always bad and staying in relationships is not always good. The truth is how we distinguish what is what is the best road to take and Pisces the beautiful thing about this coming weekend is we're getting to the heart of the matter we're getting to the truth so if you think things are going wrong or going bad or something has happened that is um worrying you nothing is set in stone nobody's made a decision and even if this is a marriage this is a reminder that you know, marriage is a commitment that we make and we, we try not to break, but at the same time. So this could suggest infidelity in some situations um, in that the marriage wasn't set in stone or the desire to be married is not set in stone or to be in a full traditional relationship is not set in stone. In other words, 
you get to decide what makes you happy in terms of your relationship and the partnership that you form. So maybe it's just broadening and expanding your idea of what a relationship is that may help you. If you are curious about who is coming towards you over the next um, over the next coming weeks, please do check the link below. Aries, 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 Aries. Be authentic, be your true and complete self. Be real and true to who you are and how you feel. Be honest about who you are and don't disguise yourself. This is about somebody seeing you, somebody seeing who you really are and somebody loving the full you, who you are completely and accepting who you are, but that comes with accepting yourself first. So Aries, this is 100% about... First and foremost, not trying to be somebody for somebody else, not trying to, um, not trying to alter who you are just to stay with who you're with and making a decision that either in making a decision that you and your authenticity to yourself is more important than the relationship that you are in. And so you are either going to be falling in love with the right person, or you are going to be moving away from the wrong person because you have gotten in touch with who you are and you have decided to put who you are and who you really are first. To find somebody who really, really loves you for everything that you are, you have to first be brave enough to be everything that you are out loud and not disguise it and not hide it and not try to be anybody else. What is it that you really want out of a relationship? Who is it that you're really attracted to? Not trying to make something just because you've discovered this little ball of clay in front of you, mold that person into whoever it is that you want them to be. Is that really what's making you happy? Is that really what you want? Because I don't think it is. This is a sense of somebody who really, really cares about you and really loves you and finding that person. So you're either already in this relationship, you found a person who really adores you and wants to be everything that you are, uh, that wants you for everything that you are, or this is um, or this is you having to come to terms with the fact that you're in a relationship where you're trying too desperately to be in a relationship and you're not being yourself. So that's not a relationship that's going to last very long. So in other words, this is a message of, um, of the truth coming out. Um, the true nature of somebody being demonstrated, either it's you or it's them, and having to decide or almost meet this person again and decide, does the relationship still work when we're being honest with each other? Um, here we have, don't let your past hold you back. The south node. What is your south node? What are your pitfalls? What are your weak points? When I get the south node and north node cards, I always tell people to go check on astrologycafe.com run your full natal report and you'll find where your south nodes where your south and north node is this is a great time for you aries to go and find out what your south node is so you can see what your pitfalls are what are those things that you fall into some so easily that sometimes they can be a pitfall for you almost like that that lazy day on the couch for you that couch potato mentality for you not to say that you're a couch potato but what is your pitfall what is those things and for me this is a statement of those aries who fall into the trap of basically not being true to who they are and instead trying to make whatever presents the, itself to them into the right partner. And this is about sort of the comeuppance of that and having to really address those sort of darker sides of themselves or darker sides of their partner. Um, really almost like somebody's id coming out this weekend and maybe feeling like, do I even know this person? Have I ever known this person? Like, who is this person in front of me? Once you see it, you have to think, do I love all of them? Do they love all of me? And is this the true partnership? This will definitely be the test of the true partnership, the truth coming out, the truth of 
you know, am, am I, am I in this right situation? Am I with the right person? It could go either way. This could also be a sense of, um, somebody is, this is somebody that you're with that you lean on all the time. Um, and maybe a little bit, you've been leaning on them a little bit too much and they haven't been sharing with you how they really feel about it. They've been holding back their emotions. So, um, and I've been getting this, this sense with you for a while, Aries, of you having a long talk with somebody or having to really get to a place where you can be honest with them and truthful with them. Um, if you are curious about who you are dealing with or who may be coming toward you, if you're looking for a new lover, that link is in the description box below. Okay, we move on to Taurus, 2457. We have... Oh, love is all around you. There, uh, there is love everywhere all the time. Simply acknowledge this as truth. Taurus, you are loved completely and totally. And I feel like this is more of an energy for singles, Taurus. Is there are so many options around you. This is a good time, a beautiful time in your life. And if you um, go to your horoscope week ahead reading that I just completed for you, you'll see that this is really a lovely time for you. The, there's lots of um, happy things happening to you, lots of good energy and good vibes. And I feel like this also includes the choice of partnership. There's lots of options. You're very popular. You're getting a lot of attention next weekend into the weekend after you've got a lot of choices. And maybe your choice is not to make a choice. Maybe your choice is just to have fun, just to play just to stay single and, and enjoy yourself. But this is also a sense of really feeling good about who you are and, and having other people share with you how, how they care about you and how attractive you are. And in other words, getting that validation and that feedback from other people of your worth and of your acknowledgement, your Mr. or Miss popularity this coming weekend and the weekend after Taurus. So expect that energy to really put you on a big old love high because there's your, you, um, there's so many dance cards that your name is on. Everybody wants your attention and you're really feeling, and I think, I think the big part is that you are really feeling so good about yourself. Maybe you're doing something that you love. Maybe you're surrounded by people that you love. Maybe you're going back home for a visit or you're going, or people are coming, um, you know, um, or people are all around you that make you feel loved and protected and safe. This is a sense of you being at your best and shining the brightest because you're surrounded by those people that make it easy for you. So there's lots of external validation going on about your self-worth this coming weekend. Taurus, have faith in your dreams. This is one of my favorite cards in the deck. So beautiful. This is about springtime. This is about blossoming. Are you blossoming? Is your... Is who you are blossoming? It is. This coming weekend, you are blossoming. You are opening up to the world. You are smelling flowers in the middle of the winter. It, it's like life is beautiful and life is sweet for you. This is very la vie en rose energy. This is very um, um, wallowing, not wallowing, swimming and bathing in the love and adoration. But there's an innocence here. There's not an intense um, sensuality here or even sexuality there is a sense of just being so pleased and so happy there is a sense of something new beginning a new start so this could be a new love after a long time without it this could be somebody awakening parts of your heart that maybe have been in slumber for quite some time in other words, this is that really Persephone energy of Persephone coming out of Hades and coming back to the upper world and um and, and Demeter celebrating by letting the spring bloom and blossom again. So this is your love life is coming back to life, whether you're already with a partner or you're blossoming in that you have so many different options around you. There is definitely something new and beautiful being born this coming weekend. If you are curious about the person who is coming toward you, Taurus, that link is below. Please do hop on over to the extended and I'll see you there. Okay, Gemini, we have you at 28, oh no, 20, 29. 
Let's do 2,900 for Gemini. Um, okay, Gemini, your energy is romance. Oh, you are swimming in love and bathing in the beauty of just decadent, being whisked away. Maybe you're going on a romantic relationship. I mean, sorry, romantic cruise, romantic um, weekend. Maybe you're just dancing late into the night with somebody that's perfect. This is almost like the fairy tale come true, a sense of somebody that you've been waiting for your whole life or somebody that you're just meeting, somebody that feels new to you. Maybe a renewal of your relationship, an old person that feels new, but this is about romance coming back into your life, romance being around. Maybe if you've been in a long-term partnership, um, lavish the one you love with personal attention and affection. You feeling particularly amorous and willing to express love this coming weekend. And I really feel bad for whoever is in your sights because you are going to be absolutely irresistible, Gemini. You, Nobody's going to be able to resist you. Uh, people can't resist you to begin with, but you are definitely going to be sweeping people up with you. Maybe it's poetry or long sonnets or singing songs to them. You could be dancing, but this is an energy of making somebody feel so appreciated and so glorious and so sensual and vibey. There's this energy of just of really feeling like you're in a waking dream. It could be opposites attract, you know, one if by land, two if by sea type of energy. Um, maybe this is an opposite sign from you. It could be a water sign, but if you are curious of who it is, that information is in the extended video below, um, Gemini. Um, and take a look maybe at some of these other zodiac signs and see because um it's really easy to do um the timestamps are all around so this is you basically feeling really really amorous and feeling really really just so um beautiful and energized and confident and just just completely and totally losing yourself in the eyes and arms of somebody else this coming weekend Take time to breathe out, disseminating mood. You are definitely relaxing. You are definitely exhaling. And on your exhale, Gemini, is words of love and words of passion. I say poetry. You are just really sweeping somebody off their feet this coming weekend. This is a sense of feeling relaxed, feeling at home, letting yourself go, letting yourself be in the moment, letting the moment wash over you like a beautiful, warm, gentle wave and gentle breeze. This is you maybe being the breeze yourself. Um, time to breathe out, feeling relaxed finally for the first time in a long time. Um, maybe you've been having problems in your relationship and the romance has come back this weekend and you really feel like, oh, thank God, because I haven't felt this good in a long time. There have been lots of problems. There's been lots of tumultuousness happening. This is going to be a relaxation period for the two of you. This is going to be a time of great celebration and happiness. Perhaps you are going to a party and you are being surrounded, like I said, or you're going away. So it's making it a lot easier for you to just focus on each other and loving each other and not letting the rest of the world get in your way. Beautiful energy, Gemini. Okay, we're going on to Cancer. Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. What is your energy for this coming weekend? Spend quality time together. This is one of the most romantic cards in the book. And if you felt a release or an opening on the new moon, then something was set off on the new moon. There was something in the energy of the new moon that kind of shook. It was a coin dropped in the water and the ripple effect started. And this is the energy that is bringing the two of you together. There's an energy of getting to actually do some lip locking this coming weekend. Uh, whether it's expected with somebody that you already know or already love, or it's somebody that you are just meeting, Cancerian, this is a very beautiful and romantic time for you. 
listen and talk to each other being able to spend that time to each with each other and focus on each other and share each other's presence and get each other's full attention this is about coming together it's coming together with somebody who equals your intensity of interest in them this is a full reciprocity card finding light in the dark finding that hope it's very romantic like sitting under the willow tree or the wisteria tree um, this could be a love that is just being born and will come to fruition in the springtime. Um, and I really do feel like this is a sense of being able to um, be really appreciative of being in the presence of that person, of your person. I, this is such a romantic energy, but it's a gentle energy. Um, it's also a sensual energy. It's um, physicality. This is about uh, sharing Okay, what I love about this is the kiss because a kiss with all these crazy things, Cancerians, with all these crazy things that people are inventing to simulate this or simulate that, you just can't simulate a kiss. There's something so special about a kiss that shares somebody's essence, somebody's taste, somebody's personal perfume, somebody's softness, somebody's touch, somebody, there's so much tactile and sensory um interaction between the two of you in a kiss you just can't simulate it so this is a moment that you just can't simulate this is almost a moment that's frozen in time a very special moment that's almost um out of a dream a sense of really coming together with somebody and either meeting somebody for the first time or surprise getting to spend some extra time with that beautiful person that just makes you feel like your heart has wings here we have a new romantic cycle begins, a new moon in Libra. Yes, this is definitely, <laughs> this is definitely going to be a romantic weekend. Beautiful romantic energy coming up for you next weekend, Cancerians. You, this is love. This is the Libra energy is the Venetian energy. You are falling in love. Maybe you haven't been kissed for a really long time, or maybe you've been dreaming of kissing a very specific person. Maybe they've been dreaming of kissing you. Either way, Cancerian, this coming weekend out to the weekend after is going to be a time for new romance or renewed romance, a time for sharing that special time. You could be going away with each other. You could be um, the have, you know, being intimate with each other for the first time. You could be sharing your first kiss ever with somebody, but this is a beautiful new romance. It's about to dawn, whether it's from a 20 year marriage or just meeting somebody for the first time. Cancerians, this is a beautiful energy coming up for life to sort of kick off for you in terms of romance. If you are curious about who is coming towards you, Cancerian, that link is in the description box below. I'll see you over there. Okay, Leo, we have 3,700. Your energy is ask for help. Um, what do you really need? Be willing to accept support. This is the energy of um, could be a May-December relationship falling for somebody who's a little older than you or younger than you. If you're curious about who's coming towards you, that is in the description. That's That link is below. It's the extended video of who's coming towards you. You can take a peek over there. But this is definitely the energy of trusting somebody, trusting somebody's opinion, feeling protected and feeling safe in their presence, really respecting that person, almost looking up to them, even if there's not a huge age difference, really respecting their advice, respecting their insights, respecting their guidance, respecting their accomplishments of somebody being in your life that inspires you to be the best of yourself because they're the best of themselves. And you see qualities in them that you really want to emulate or be more like. Perhaps this is somebody who is a leader. Like I said, we'll clarify that in the extended but this is an energy of really trusting each other, of feeling safe or, yeah, feeling, I have these candles and I feel like they're burning my hand, um, of feeling safe. So what that tells me is there's a lot of heat that's coming and starting between the two of you. Um, there's a lot of um, heat when it comes to how much you trust this person, how much you feel safe and comfortable and protected by them. Um, um, it's time to take action. New moon in Aries. Wow. Okay. So this is encouraging you and your fire energy that I was feeling as I was holding these cards 
to just take a step back from your denial and doubt and to plunge in and to go ahead and ask. It says, ask for help, ask for help, ask them, ask them and let them see how much you really want them. It's about you making the first move, Leo. That's what this energy is. Now, they could be reversed, flipping it on you and then making the move on you. But I really do think, think that because this is your card, this is about you making the decision to even though this may be an odd relationship, the circumstances around this relationship, um, maybe you started as friends, maybe you started as um, work at work, um, some sort of um, relationship prior to this relationship, to this romantic feelings. This is about you this coming weekend being very much um, primed to uh, uh, show and demonstrate that, that you are interested in them in a more sensual way. So if you are curious about who this person is, that link is down below. Leo. Okay, Virgo energy is 39.53. Virgo, your energy for this coming weekend is the heart of the matter. There is more going on than meets the eye. Yeah, and it's interesting, Virgo, because I got this energy for you, not the week, not the reading past, but the, the reading before. An energy of something lying beneath the surface that really needed to be exposed or discussed. This could be in a current relationship or with inside of you that's holding you back from relationships. And it is really interesting. Um, who else got this energy? I think it was um, Capricorn, Sag, not Aquarius. Um, maybe Pisces. Pisces got this energy too. So this is really interesting, Virgo. I don't know if you're dealing with a Pisces, but this is about getting to the heart of the matter and the circumstance. Um, you have been holding back or keeping something from somebody and it could, it, do, it doesn't have to be about something that's wrong inside of your relationship, but it's definitely something that is bothering you, some sort of worry, some sort of fear. And for some reason you have been running from it and not wanting to confront it. So Virgo, this is about waking from that dream and really exposing and, and sharing your feelings with the person that you're with or um, sharing your feelings with yourself and being real with who you are and being really true and honest to yourself about what you're worried about and what scares you and maybe what's holding you back from jumping into a new relationship or taking a new chance on love because there's something that's hidden. Maybe you just discovered that your person has a child. Maybe you've just discovered that your person is in a relationship. Maybe you've just uncovered something that makes you feel very, very uncomfortable and it hurts you a great deal. So this is an energy that is coming out, a huge revelation that is coming to your attention, but it's like you finally uncovered it. You finally realized what's wrong. It's finally been admitted. It's finally been it's finally been revealed and exposed. Um, work through your fears. I think that this is uh, you fearing the worst and thinking the worst has happened. Maybe you've discovered that the worst has happened. Maybe you've discovered infidelity or that somebody was keeping something from you that was really painful to you. Um, maybe you have, uh, or maybe you just found out what is really going on, even though you felt like it was much worse. Whatever it is, Virgo, this is you being able to really uncover the information and the facts and get the information so that you can work through whatever it is that is harming you or hurting you inside, disappointing you, making you sad, making you upset. This is about um, truth coming out something being revealed and if you have been suspicious or feeling something that is going on or lying beneath the surface Virgo it is going to be coming out this coming weekend into the next week it is going to be spilling over and the truth is going to be revealed now of course this could be also finding out that somebody is in love with you finding out that somebody's in love with you but you not being ready or or, you know, it's whatever your worst fear is. So maybe you're afraid of love. So this would be you um, finding out that the person that you like is in love with you too, or them finding out how you feel about them, even though you haven't told them how you feel. I don't know if you're dealing with Scorpio energy, but there was a little bit of that going on with them. You might want to take a look at some of the others. So Virgo, if you are interested about who you are dealing with this coming weekend, um, that is in the extended link below okay and now we have libra energy uh libra is 
43, 47. That was really interesting. Oh, I, I know what that was. Okay, so Libra, let's see what is coming towards you in love. Relationship patterns. It takes strength to recognize the need for change. Whew. This is about being confronted with the truth, being confronted with the reality of your situation. This is about um, something that you have not yet seen. But it's going to be very noticeable and very apparent this coming weekend. Um, this is about also what I'm feeling for you guys is somebody old coming back into your life or somebody old wanting to come back into your life. So you may be hearing um, from somebody that you haven't heard from in a long time. This uh, this is more this is less about the love that the two of you still share and the more about being able to close out this relationship because there was something about the circumstances of your relationship that you never dealt with. And if you have felt any impediments to your love life, Libra, it has to do with this. It also has to do with um, confronting and facing your behavior patterns in terms of relationships and sexuality, um, in terms of, uh, in terms of uh, trusting and letting yourself be vulnerable. Um, this, this, this is, this weekend is the weekend where that truth is, is kind of in your face and it, it's, um, it's, it's comfortable for you to actually face and confront something that maybe you wanted to put out of your mind, but it, it had to come out. Why? Because, um, like I said, it was an impediment to you moving forward. It was getting in your way. So now there is this beautiful energy of finally being able to see, finally being able to know, and in doing so, being empowered to be able to move forward and to heal some sort of, maybe you're healing a relationship with the partner that you're with. Maybe you are taking responsibility for something that you've been doing or they're taking responsibility. Maybe you're both taking responsibility. This is about acknowledging um, the re repetition of over and over and over again and basically breaking that wheel. Um, a win-win outcome is forecast, full moon in Libra, and you are the only sign this week that has gotten a, a card with their energy in it. So this is your energy. This is the energy of love and balance and finding a way to... Um, equal out the situation or equalize the situation and make things fair. So this is a almost a sense of justice or liberation from a pattern that you have been stuck in. And maybe this is about too much compromise, um, kind of always compromising yourself for the sake of the relationship and and um, seeing that, that that doesn't work. This is also about finding solutions if you are in a relationship and you have been having conflicts and not really being able to get to the bottom of what's bothering the two of you. This is about you being able to find a resolution and something that works for the both of you. This is also about finally being able to find a partner that is your equal. And because you have broken a relationship pattern of choosing the wrong people. This is about finding someone for the first time that is actually your equal and that actually balances you out and that actually works for you. And that, yeah, the two of you work for each other and somebody who wants you as much as you want them instead of maybe what you've done in the past, which is settling or pretending like somebody was better than they were just because you wanted to be with somebody so bad. So this is the end. Whatever it was that you kept doing that kept getting you into bad situations is now being equalized and um, you're finding, you're fi in other words, it's now being cured and it's now being healed and ushering in this wave of you being able to be with somebody that is your equal, somebody that wants you as badly, somebody that gives as much as you. And it could very well be with you coming to terms with, well, you insisting upon it, insisting that people pull their own weight or people give as much as you give or people, um, you know, somebody, um, 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 doing as much as you do. But I, I also think that there is a, a, in other words, 
this card indicates that that person agrees that person that you're that you're with agrees that there has to be something more on their side of things that person agrees to be more of an equal partner or to be an equal uh, to 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 yeah to do more to to pick up the slack a little bit um but you first have to be honest and and a realize um, what you've been allowing and then ask for what it is you really want which takes a lot of strength and courage but I do feel like this is coming around to you Libra overall I feel like this relationship pattern is broken that whatever bad relationship pattern you have gotten into that has kept you from love it's over and there is this beautiful equalizing energy of finally being in a healthy position for you to find somebody that is in fact going to give you as much as you give to them if you are curious about who is coming towards you libra that link is down below please enjoy this video everybody thank you so much for stopping by the horoscopes will start bright and early tomorrow on monday morning with the scorpio video coming out first followed by capricorn and then sagittarius by the by nightfall and we will roll from there. Um, all the video on demands for the extended are definitely, that link is below. Um, and I hope you enjoy the video and I hope you enjoy the extended. I'll see you in the week ahead, guys. Bye.